Oh, actually, we could finish this up. That's what we're going to do. Let's fix our mistakes over here on this before we forget. One, this, this ceiling's going to be one higher. Two, this wall has got to go back one. So, we're going to... Where's Silky? Do I need Silky? Let me see how much... Let's cook some more up. Do I, I don't have any coal here. Let's see what I got here. I don't have any smooth stone. So it's silky time. And we're just gonna Is that what I do over there? Oh yeah 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 yeah. That is what I do over here. Oh, hi. Come on. So I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. I started telling you about a strip club, and I never told you why. Um, one of the strippers was doing her thing. <laughs> I guess you could say. And uh, oop, she grabbed my hat off my head. And then, you know, shove my head in between, you know. And, uh, <laughs> it surprised the hell out of the people that I was with that I was bald. And I, you know, kept it a secret. I don't know why. And I knew, like, when I was a kid, because, like I said, my brother was, was bald at a extremely young age. So I knew I was going to be bald. I'm going to put that in there because I know right next to that is another hole. And I don't want... Um, from... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. we got to go up one. So, let's do this. I, um... I haven't been to too many strip joints. It's not like a regular activity of mine. As a matter of fact, it's probably been about 20 years since I've been. So, um, it's just the story had that. I'm not a pervy wanker. I tell you, I'm not a pervy wanker. I'm a daddy with a daughter. Yeah. Who happens to play stupid games? Well, I can't say this is stupid, but play games playing a little hearthstone but I don't know we'll see I uh, love the idea this the card strategy games but to me it's kind of like playing cards plus I'm also having a hard time getting the basics down um i used to be in a gilded card game and i was the guild leader and uh, we were top five but this hearthstone's another level of card game than what i used to play and so i remember the old game which i haven't played in five six years and try and bring the theory over to the new game but a lot of the theory is different because it's a different game <laughs> there's no other easy way of explaining it and I take some of this with a silk touch because how did I fall off there I thought it was shifting It's the end of the world. Cobble blocks are falling. My wrist is cracking. So, um, I don't know. I'm really not the gamer, you know? I, I just like Minecraft a ton. Um, 
I used to do AutoCAD work, which is architectural work on the computer. Um, I was going to get a job as an architect, and I took the classes and stuff, but not. I didn't have the certificate to prove that I knew exactly what I needed to do, but my dad was going to get me into a place to design buildings, and um, that kind of fell through. But I did spend about two to three years working how on how to design buildings, you know, real life buildings, not, I don't, well, I'm just going to put you there because I don't think, I forget if I'm going to put, uh, fuck it, let's get you out and put a real block in there. Just in case. I don't want to have to pillar her up just to get rid of that one. I did it again. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going into my duh, inventory, and that cuts off my it's crouching so I don't fall. Yeah, yeah. I know how to play this game sometimes. Just sometimes. But hopefully I can finish this room up. And we'll see what time bides for us. Because we do have the project here, kind of. And then we do have the pathways. Can I reach? I don't need to reach you. So I might be looking for another project to do in the future in this world. Well, because I just don't want to be in the same locations doing the same sort of builds all the time. So that's why I did that other... Why am I hitting Siltux with these? That is why I did that wooden structure first, because I sp spent an episode in here doing really mundane gray work that's what we'll call it we'll call it gray work we can put these in the corners and hopefully most of these blocks will come back at me oh perfect let's see make sure I hit that button again So I actually, uh, so I actually crouch while I'm doing this, so I don't fall off this stupid thing, which I keep doing after I look into my inventory. Today was a weird day. Um, it was really windy. We had a vicious storm the other day. Everybody kind of lost power. Oh, again. And um, today we got massive riptide alerts. And the waves were really big. Bigger than I normally see them. Maybe the biggest of the winter. It's not really winter down here anymore, but... So we're getting the afternoon thunderstorms every day because of the cold, um, because of the heat, the heat's back. Um, but today was cool and a really nice day. I'm going to go grab this stuff. I'm afraid of it despawning and I don't need that. Oh, you know, why am I even fixing this? Because I was going to make this room wider. Oh, that's right. We can fix this, though. Oh, not you again. Okay. Now, this will be looking much better. And this should be looking much better.
because um, this is going to be the back wall. And I have decided to widen the room. Some. I'm just going to sleep just in case something comes in here. Oops. Tweedle. Let's see. That's what we're going to do. So let's get rid of all this crap now. I said I was going to go another eight, I think, in each direction. So let's at least cut this out. Catwalks, gotta love them. Gotta love the catwalks. So yeah, it's, it's kind of strange weather down here right now. I don't know. See now, um, it's the right height. So we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's 16. So yeah, another eight. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the edge of the hall. I'm just going to clear this out a little bit. I want to make sure. Oh, I can't reach. Okay, so let's go up another notch. No pun on notch. Can't believe he. Ah, oh, he only made video games and now he lives in one of the richest houses in our country. I mean, yay for him, but jeez. Really? You need a candy room? <laughs> Notch, don't you realize you should realize it's some weight? That's me judging. No judging here. Not supposed to. Wow. They're still in the process of taking the roof down instead of putting it up. And I don't know if you can hear that at all. But it's not fun on the ears. Good thing I don't have a headache today. Stacy was kind of complaining about it. Uh -huh. um, but she's stuck here all day. At least I get to go away. I don't have to deal with it all the time. I'm out of this house for nine hours a day while well, she's a stay-at-home mom. Which, I, I guess I'll say this, um, it's pretty amazing because we have, um, Stacy is disabled. And my daughter is legally disabled. When my daughter was born, she was one pound... 14 ounces, which, if you don't know, is really small. Um, she was in the hospital for four months before we could take her home. And... Uh, that's why she's on disability. She's behind in all things because when you're 10 weeks premature, 
Um, you haven't really, you're behind because uh, how they kind of explained it to us, say her, her abilities, like, I don't know, she, the banging is making me, giving me trouble thinking on how I should really explain this. Okay, so she was, say, we'll make it even, three months premature. So, when a normal kid's at one years old, they have certain expectations of what they can do, you know, um, ability-wise. And two years old, you expect a child to be a certain ability. But with her... Um, she started behind, and seeing that she was behind, she struggled some more because she was not supposed to be out of a body at, a, you know, for three months when she was actually taken. So when the, the goals for a baby for one year, Caitlin wouldn't reach because she, um, at one years old, was really still ten weeks behind where a normal baby would be. And eventually they say that she would catch up. And she has caught up, basically. Uh, the only problem, she has a real hard time with English. English, kind of like her dad. Um, awesome with maths and sciences. You know, give her a ruler, her eyes wide and, wide and open. And it's like she just gave her a toy. She can go around the house measuring stuff. And she loves doing that. So... Um, she definitely takes after me because I'm the math guy and I have a hard time with English. So, you know, one thing that I do, um, I suck at English. I know that, um, it's a hard thing for me to deal with. And so I decided... Well, I'll, I'll make a, a daily blog. So I used to write a daily blog about different types of electronic music and um, the bands that came from it and so forth and how it changed the music industry, and how it changed the music industry, what type of people listen to it and all that type of stuff. And it was based on music, so it kept my interest. And it was a type of music... Uh, I'm familiar with electronic music, but I'm not like an electronic music guru, even though I have, I guess, written some electronic music. I don't know. Getting a lot of blocks here. Thought I had another chest in it there. Uh, we'll just put you right on top, if we can. So when I'm weak on something, or even like uh, if there was a music I didn't particularly care for, uh, I would go and listen to it and find things about it that I'd like, um, so I'd like it more. And they, I did that with all sorts of music, and I, I've stated that I'm not a big country music fan because it's too... It's not subtle enough for me. Uh, you know everything about it, the song, what it's about, and everything just by listening to the words instead of making up your own conclusions about what the song is. Um, but I did try really hard to get into country music. I do like bluegrass, believe it or not, um, because it's upbeat. I just don't like the slow, old-time country the boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. You know, I need something a little faster and a little more energetic. Even though I do listen to a lot of classical music, but the melodies is what keeps classical music going, so it doesn't need to be energetic. Like if you had EDM music that was boring, I guess you can call ambient music like that, which I've made my fair share of. Um, I mean, each type of music has its reasoning behind it, what what it's good for. And country music, I haven't found what it's good for other than line dancing, which I think is totally... Yeah, you catch me 
Yeah, if you ever get a picture of me line dancing, post it everywhere because it will be hilarious. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't get it. <coughs> I definitely don't get it. So, jazz, uh, you know, I used to hate it, but then I, um, went to school for it. <laughs> Opera, I don't get. Um, it is classical, but I don't care for it. Um, heavy metal, the, one of the first albums I ever had was a Black Sabbath album and another one was an ACDC album. So I, I like that. I've seen, you know, go see Metallica someday. I don't think they've changed. The last time I saw Metallica was on the Load or Reloaded tour and one of those two and it was really, really good. Um, you know, if I had a endless supply of money I'd go see them all the time because like ACDC I don't know how they are now also but they give 110% that's 100% energy you, they are giving it 100% and you can't fake that and it's really um, awesome to see those bands then other bands are kind of hit and miss Sometimes you see them, they're good, sometimes they're not. I was also in the jam bands for a while, so. Like I said, when I got into trouble, it was because I went to a Grateful Dead show and was looking for some acid. <laughs> so even though, like, I could take something like going to jail for, you know, spending my 18th birthday in jail is a shitty thing for somebody's life but I can't dwell on that side of it because then I get all depressed and stuff so I go well if I didn't go to jail I'd probably be dead by now because I would have continued down the road of drugs and became a crackhead and ended up addicted to the shit so even though things may be negative there's usually good something good you can find in it to make it bearable in your mind you could call it lying to yourself but for me and my situations with the w way I kind of was brought up I needed to do that so if I do that to both sides that's going to be pretty big okay so let's go one two Three, well, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's hope this is high enough. I can't tell. Oh, where's my trusty torch? As <coughs> it looks like I'm going to have a problem here. Rusty torch. Actually, this is probably better for me. Because then I don't have to cut out as much. But the problem being is, is that the right height? Mm, let's go someplace else. Or I can figure out what the right height is. So that's where I need to be on the second level. Jeez. It's amazing how fast I forget things like that. So that's right, yeah. So uh, that's kind of like a thing I'm going to have to fill in up there. No biggie. So let's cut the rest of this out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> 